So as we are basically elaborating on a unique situation that arises when uh, SARS sees that there's an additional receipt that arises as a result of the additional, the 1,000 rands that the employee pays over in terms of repairs uh, towards contributions to the employer. So SARS sees that there's this receipt that arises because the employer is getting this receipt from the employee of 1,000 rands in terms of his contributions towards uh, the repairs for the actual car, which is already brought into the calculation in helping us get to the initial output amount as per the team supply for the actual employee. However, SARS is not willing to just overlook this receipt that this employer is getting. So over and above the fact that SARS will eventually recognize an output that in terms of the team supply, which is the first part of this calculation from the employee, he also wants to get his hands on the 1,000 rands contribution which is made over by the employee in this regard. So there's an additional calculation that you must also watch out for because SARS would want to be paid output VAT here which is payable by the employer because he's the one who's basically getting this payment from the, the employee, you know. So it's a very, you know, uh, fine situation <laughs> for SARS because they're getting two receipts, one from the actual uh, employee and the other one from the actual employer in terms of such a transaction uh, if it so happens this way, basically. So SARS will not overlook such a situation unless if it's of course a receipt that is related to fuel, so that makes it an exempt, uh, uh, a zero rated supply, so there would not be additional VAT consequences there or if it uh, relates to acquisition of the motor vehicle, which would also be a team supply receipt, so there would not be an additional VAT that SARS can claim in that regard. However, if it's for a taxable supply, in this instance, it's a receipt that comes about as contribution towards repairs, then SARS would definitely want a portion of that output VAT to be coming over into their coffers. So that, that's where we are in terms of uh, team supply. So now that we've gotten the actual relevant information for this model car vehicle right of use, we will follow it up with an example just to basically make sure that we've got the basic understanding of how to apply this principle where a model car is used as the as a right of use so that we can basically get to account for the team supply that arises in terms of that supply having been given to the actual employee.